I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is JJ Matandika, pastor with the Associate Reformed Presbyterian Church in Malawi. I am currently based at Imponela, where we started a church plant last year in October, and the church is Imponela Reformed Church. On top of that, I also oversee three other church plants, one in Zua, one in Kabangalika, and another one in Buemba. It is certainly a privilege for me to serve the Lord in this way. And looking at myself, looking at uh, my abilities, I realize that this is a very huge task for me. Setting up a new church work, it is not easy. And looking at myself, I feel insufficient. And I am reminded of what Paul the Apostle says in the book of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, when he asks a question, who is sufficient for these things? This is the work that only God has the abilities to do. Not us, not our qualities, not whatever we have, but only whatever the Lord has given to us. And so I want to ask you to remain in prayer for me as I look at this and plan the future or the way forward of the church planting work in Malawi. In Malawi, there are a number of churches. My background, I was a CCAP member, which is the Church of Central Africa Presbyterian. It used to be a very strong biblical church. But right now, with a number of issues happening, liberalism and the charismatic movement, the church is slowly losing its flavor of the Reformed faith. And that is when I joined with the World Ministries in 2014, decided that it would be in the best interest of the church in Malawi to start a new church plant. And I was privileged at that time to be the pastor from the beginning of the work up to this point. I am still serving with the church. My schedule involves preaching at the church in Ponela, as well as administering the sacraments, the Lord's Supper and baptism here, as well as the other churches I have mentioned in Zua, Kapangalika and Buemba. On top of that, I am also training three men who we hope will be able to plant other churches next year, Lord willing. These three men have all had a previous training in theology or have served in churches before, but having a biblical understanding of church ministry is what was needed. And so we'll be doing the training program for one year or so. It will involve a number of courses on theology, evangelism, preaching, covenant, so that they can have a basic understanding of what these things mean. Therefore, please, Pray for them. We need resources. We are in a country whereby it is very difficult to get good biblical resources. And so if you or you know anyone who would be able and willing to help us, to assist us with any biblical 
materials from a reformed perspective, we would be glad to receive them. On top of that, this is a new church planting work, which simply means there are no financial resources on the ground that would be enough to sustain the work. That includes supporting myself and the people who are working with me here, as well as doing other developmental projects for the church. For example, here at Imponela, we are currently looking for a place or to buy a land where we are going to build a church there. We are trusting the Lord to provide the resources and we will do whatever we can to encourage even the members here to contribute a little something so that at least they can have a sense of ownership when the church work of building it starts. But I appeal to you, if you would be able in any way to assist financially or even with prayer, we would greatly appreciate it. And so I ask you to think about this and see what the Lord moves you to do to assist us here in Malawi. I'm very thankful for people who are praying for me. This is not easy, but the people are praying for me. I know that. And that keeps me going on. Thank you so much for all your prayers, for all your support, and for everything that you're doing. May the Lord bless you. Thank you so much.